Bug out knives. Lots of people talk about bugging out. Sometimes some of us actually have to do it. We had to evacuate for one of the largest storms that ever hit the United States and I had to think about what I was going to take with me. Didn't know what we'd be coming back to if we came back and uh, so I'm going to share with you my thoughts on how I selected what I did and, and what it looked like. To start with, in, the, in my van that we were driving in, I always keep, this is my real everyday carry, I keep a Columbia River knife and tool neck knife that uh, just a handy little thing to, to keep handy in the van. And so I keep that in there and then I have this uh, cheap box store knife that I repaired. Somebody had given it to me broken and I repaired it and it's just a really good size. And I keep that in the van all the time. Uh, partly just to play with while I'm sitting in traffic. The, uh, so I knew I had those two. Those were in there. I knew that I wanted to take uh, knives that were of high value to me. This is my oldest Swiss Army knife, my Tinker, and got it 39 years ago. And uh, from my wife before, she was my wife. And I wanted to take that Tinker and make sure that I didn't lose that if I didn't come back to anything else. I'd have my tinker with me. I took this old Parker Eagle uh, one hand open liner lock that had been my dad's and he gave it back to me. I gave it to him as a present 40 years ago and uh, I really cherish the memories on that so I wanted to make sure that I had that with me. I always carry my my Swiss Army knife uh, little Rambler with the Phillips and a little blade and a fingernail file with a small screwdriver and a pair of scissors and of course the uh, tweezers and the toothpick I always carry that in my pocket so that was going with me and decided for my pocket knife I would take my Kershaw it's a Ken Onion design liner lock assisted opening it's called the scallion and uh, it was not expensive Found it at a tractor store. It, uh, it's a Kershaw and it's a Ken Onion design and it's an assisted opening and um, a little bit big for me for everyday carry, but it is a great yard knife and I decided on my bug out that this was gonna be my pocket knife right there. Well, I wanted more than just a, a pocket knife. I also wanted to put in my, my luggage uh, something that has become a favorite of mine. It's a buck. It, uh, it's called the Momentum, and it was given to me as a gift. It's an assisted opening. It's a high-quality knife, and I don't just throw it in my pocket, but I didn't want to lose track of it either, so I made sure that I carried that with me. It's a liner lock. I carried my, my buck, put the Kershaw in my pocket, kept the, the buck and my, my Swiss Army knife and my little Parker Eagle uh, one hand opener, put it in my luggage, but I wanted something a, a little bit bigger and I always do. So I grabbed this, I have several blades that are about this size, but I decided to take this Camillus, uh, not an expensive blade, found that at a tractor store. I altered it a little bit, the shape of it, but uh, otherwise I use it for the yard a lot and uh, it's held up well. And it's the kind of knife that if I lost it, broke it, whatever, it wouldn't be of any importance to me. But it is a fair sized knife, uh, six or seven inches, and uh, something that I could have with me uh, to have a, a fair size sheath knife. But the last thing I always want is a chopper. And this is just a little thin for chopping. And I can baton with it and stuff, do some bushcraft, but. I wanted a chopper and so I have in my collection an Ontario Knife Company machete that is very unique. I've had it for about 30 years. I actually use it and uh, got about a nine inch blade on it. It is uh, very heavy, very thick, got a chisel end and um, will chop its way through anything that a machete will do in a compact size. I, uh, I love using it, but boy, it'll wear your wrist out if you actually have to do much. But when I'm bugging out, 
I decided that I wanted to have that available and something heavy enough to chop with. Um, sheath knife that I could do some medium sized work with. A pocket knife that I like carrying and can use. I wanted to take my, my sentimental knives with me. I knew that I'd have my, my van knives, my neck knife and my CRKT and just my cheap box store folder. And uh, while I was gone, I picked up a new knife. It's not very new, but it's a Gerber. My sister-in-law gave that to me. She had it laying around. Um, shout out to my nephew in the Navy. Uh, Might have been his. It's an assisted opening side lock. I love it. And you, it locks closed in this position. You push that forward and you pop it open. It apparently at one time had serrated teeth right there. Somebody's ground them off. It's some kind of Gerber, I don't know what kind. It is a really nice size pocket knife and it's a really nice assisted opening. And uh, I now carry this as one of my everyday carries. So bugged out for two weeks, came back with an extra knife. That's what bugging out actually looks like.